below all the people watching this video at some point, let's understand what the cooldown system is. In Blocks Fruits, during the sea event or sea exploration to do Leviathan, obviously at some points in the game, you can't talk to the spy to bribe him and stuff like that. Now, when you're doing this, we all know that you can't find the Leviathan or Fruits of Frozen Dimension, as some may call it. Now, during this time, I, what I tried to do, right, everybody was having trouble, we were figuring out why can't we find the Frozen Dimension, where is it, is anybody on cooldown? And I think I found a solution to fix or, you know, just get past the cooldown as soon as possible. So this way you can get straight back into Leviathan, grinding it out as much as possible. Now, I think you, may, you need to achieve a certain amount of kills. I'm not the only one who said this. Uh, many other people said this. I don't know the exact source or original person that said this. But you need to achieve an exact amount of kills before you can go talk to the spy again. Now, during this video that you're watching right now that I sped up massively, I think this took like maybe 40 minutes, maybe a little bit less. But then again, I was kind of AFK. My internet died uh, like halfway through. So yeah. But anyway, over the course of this video, I killed between 30 to 40. Uh, depending on how the system works. I'm not sure if every single ship counts as one point or not. So I'm still kind of figuring that out. But during the duration of this, I killed between 30 and 40, and then I was able to talk to the spy again. And I believe that this is how it's supposed to be done. I'm not too sure, once again, not too sure if the ships all count as one point or if just doing an entire ship raid, like killing all three ships or killing two of the ghost ships, if those each count as one. If so, then obviously the kill count is a lot less. I'd say around maybe 20 to 25 in the range. Uh, so the cooldown system is very weird. I'm sure they'll explain at some point exactly how it works. But in order to understand it completely, this needs to be like said, I guess, because obviously during the stream that I was doing, if you guys, if any of you are from the stream and you're seeing this video now, obviously we're having a lot of trouble. Like one day we were finding it back to back to back. I think we got four Levo Leviathans done in like three hours, which still is quite a long time considering we don't know how to do the cooldown system exactly. But we still managed to find it. Now, some people thought that it just brought down the chances if you had the cooldown. People thought that it brought it down to like 5% of its spawning, but apparently it actually just negates the first dimension entirely. So in order to fix it, everybody needs to be off cooldown, and this way you can find Leviathan extremely fast. I think that's what was going on, because then the next day when we were streaming, um, we couldn't find any of the Leviathans. We couldn't find any frozen dimensions, nothing like that. I think I streamed for like a good six hours, and we found maybe two in each three hours time period. So yeah, but I think in order to master, you know, kind of finding frozen dimension and things like that, you need to understand the cooldown system and how well it works. Now, my tips for this is that you can just go at it solo and kill enemies like that or you can get just like a team of people maybe like a team of five or you can even do a team of 12. i feel like that makes it harder for everyone to get the kills that they need obviously having a team of five this one makes sure everyone goes and gets the kills that they need you know you take turns hitting it make sure everyone does enough damage this way it counts as a kill and you know you all just get boats this way most amount of things spawn that's the only reason i would say doing it in a team makes it better doing it solo guarantees you're getting the kill basically but you know let's say you're doing a boat event or something like that your ship's gonna die much faster you're gonna have to spawn trade at the beginning and bring back a new boat and stuff like that and also fighting terror shark if you're not boot or something like that is much harder by yourself than it is with the entire team full like magma users or something like that but this is just my experience of it so yeah, you know, as you can see here, I'm finding like three sea beasts and obviously I'm just getting swung around, but you know, some other guy just came in basically and helped me out a little bit. But yeah, this is just my experience doing the cooldown system. So if this video does help you in any way, shape, or form, hit the like, subscribe, and also don't forget to, uh, you know, come in the stream once in a while, say thanks for helping me out. So yeah, peace out and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.